It's a world literally run by the young. This 34-year-old transport minister of Finland, selected as the country's prime minister, bears testimony to just that. Sanna Marin is set to become Finland's youngest ever prime minister next week, taking over office after the resignation of Antti Vinne. This makes her the youngest leader to ever hold the job. Finland's social democrats, who lead the five-party coalition government, picked on Marin to become the country's prime minister after Rini resigned early this week. This after the centre party had lost confidence in him following his handling of a postal strike. Okay, now we're with this, Marin joins the ranks of New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern and Denmark's Mette Fredriksen as world leaders under the age of 50. Meanwhile, the other four parties in Finland are also led by women, three of whom are under 35 years of age. The White Island volcano in New Zealand erupted earlier in the day with almost 50 people in the vicinity. At least five have been confirmed dead, with the death toll likely to increase further. Many of the people, mostly tourists, are still unaccounted for. The eruption began a little after 2 p.m. local time. Local media reports indicated that as many as 23 people have been injured. The police are transporting tourists to the mainland where they are being given medical assistance. As of now, the island is strewn with ash making any rescue effort impossible. The police are waiting for the right moment to return to the island. So unfortunately I can confirm there are five uh, people now uh, deceased from the eruption on White Island. A number of other people have been taken to Fokotani Hospital and Little Hospital. A number of people have burns as a, as a result of the eruption. It is still too early for police to confirm uh, how many people are involved. Uh, we continue to work as quickly as we can through a number of channels uh, of information to confirm exact numbers, uh, including how many people are still on the island. Both New Zealanders and overseas tourists are believed to be involved. The dramatic moment was captured by tourists who were stunned by the sudden eruption. Footage posted on social media showed plumes of smoke and ash rising high into the sky. Authorities have asked people in the vicinity to stay indoors due to the danger of ash fall. Images taken moments before the eruption show people walking on the crater floor. New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern has said that foreign embassies have been put on standby since most of the people on the island were tourists. At this stage, and please uh, do keep in mind this is an evolving situation, uh, but at this stage we believe around 100 people were on or around the island uh, at the time and some of those uh, at this stage are unaccounted for. A number of people are reportedly injured and are being transported to shore. Uh, police are urging members of the public to avoid the Whakatane Heads and Muriwai Road areas. Muriwai uh, Road is closed from Harvey Street. Um, I do want to just um, again share this is evolving. At this stage obviously um, does appear to be a very significant uh, um, uh, issue. On the 3rd of December, a monitoring agency had warned of possible eruptive activity on White Island, but said that there was no direct threat to the visitors. White Island is the most active volcano in New Zealand and last erupted in 2016. 